Okay, today is Thursday evening. I'm driving home and I just want to talk a little bit about mindset. Now, the mindset is very important because um, the person is actually focusing on that particular point, uh, thinking about it from the, that particular direction. So if the mindset is uh, focusing on the wrong thing, then basically they cannot uh, see uh, the other conflicting viewpoint. Okay, so if they think that uh, they are correct, but they are looking at a wrong perspective, then they actually could not see the correct uh, perspective. Okay, so I use a diagram, and I can uh, show the diagram right now. But uh, when I make the video, you could see the diagram. It's about a car park. Okay, but the car park is uh, kind of uh, drawn from the direction of the other viewpoint, the other side. Okay, so when a driver drives into the car park, the, the diagram is shown from the other side of the uh, angle. Okay, so called. So what happens is uh, this particular quiz is a let's say elementary uh, school kind of a quiz, entrance exam quiz. Uh, for the young kids, okay, but because um, it's almost like an IQ test, uh, it, it's kind of selected in such a way that people are being misled. So the numbers uh, looking from the other opposite point of view are reverse. So when you look at it from that perspective, uh, we call that the duck's perspective, because the the duck is on the ground level, and they 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 look at it from the wrong direction let's say okay and the number appears uh, to be a certain number but actually they are the wrong numbers so from the duck's perspective they couldn't see a sequence okay the number will be something like 16 uh, 06 uh, let's say uh, 60 68 or something like that okay the point here is they look like real numbers, but they're the wrong numbers. So you couldn't tell the sequence. So you're stuck in terms of where the car is parked because the car actually uh, blocked the, the number from there. So um, the test quiz is given 20 seconds uh, duration to, to, let's say, let the people try to find the answer. But once you are looking at it from the wrong perspective, you cannot get the answer because there's no, no logic. Okay. So I would say uh, I'll give them the first clue because I already can see that it's past 20 seconds and they are stuck after five minutes, right? So I give them the clue, say, look at the number. The number is written in a certain way, okay? And, and if you look at it carefully, yeah, you could, you could tell the clue from the 06 because 06 is not normally written as 06, it's written as 6, okay? And that's one clue. The second clue I give them is um, look at it from the driver's perspective because you are looking from the other side you couldn't see the number so you can tell but from the driver's point of view you could see okay, and then maybe they still don't get it so my last clue will be yeah if you look at it from the top view the bird's eyes perspective uh, something like an eagle or a hawk and the hawk would just circle one round when they circle one round and look down at the car park they could see the numbers in sequence okay so actually the correct answer to that particular quiz is 87 okay 87 because the first number when you look from the other side is 86 86 87 88 89 90 91 okay the number will all reverse that's why they couldn't see it so if the duck uh, insists on that they are being right and they are actually right because they are looking at it from the wrong angle, but they are wrong. Okay, so looking at it from the wrong perspective will cause you not to have the result because it's like a mental block. And you will guess for the answer, you will try this and try that because there's no uh, definite answer in their mind. Okay, but when you look at it from the eagle's perspective, there's definitely a definite answer, no guessing, okay, because the sequence is there. Okay, so this mindset uh, helps me to explain to the people that they cannot find people. Yeah, they're correct. They cannot do their name list. 
they don't know anybody all these are wrong perspective because the people are there you cannot be 30 years old and not have good friends and uh, good family members that know you and trust you okay so uh, already they are having a mental block by saying i don't have friends i don't know anybody so are they correct yes they're correct in saying that but wrong because it's not true so only here is opinion so called so now uh, as long as we understand where their stuck point is in their mindset we can always go around it go over it and lift it up or something okay so mindset is important because um, because it causes you to be stuck why because the the brain the human brain cannot take two conflicting viewpoints at the same time okay I want to try another example to, to show you uh, from the practical point of view the husband is trying to find the salt bottle and he can't remember where it was put so ask the wife honey where is the salt bottle the wife said usual place in the cabinet and she was watching TV in the living room so the husband goes there and open up the cupboard and say I cannot find it now he gave the command the command says I cannot find it so what happened is the the message was given by the brain and then it's voiced out so once it's commanded that way the eye cannot see the bottle okay, even though it's in, 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 right in front of him so the wife will come all the way from the TV room and say no right there and then the image appears okay it's called scotoma it's a blind spot so the thing is the brain controls the optic nerve okay to explain it in the networking sense i cannot find two people two person he gave the command and he's not gonna find them okay because that that command was in charge right so he knows two thousand people and he cannot find two people that's the that's the problem okay he gave the command the other one is the uh, uh and that one i got to show you with the diagram okay when you read the paragraph when you read the paragraph, uh, when you read off, I'm going to give you the answer right now because this is the third example of how the brain controls the optic nerve. There's a paragraph that is to be read, uh, the experience of many years or something like that, right? And I ask them to read and they count their, the, how many F's they are with their eyes, right? And out of 400 participants in the convention room, nobody saw six. Most of them will see three, but not six. Okay, because when they read off, it's registered in the brain as OV. And as long as you pronounce it as off, the optic nerve eye cannot see the F. Okay, that's, that's a beautiful example. But that's exactly uh, what I'm talking about in terms of um, the brain controlling the, uh, the sight. Okay? So, my sight is definitely important because it determines everything. Now, I'm going to keep this less than uh, uh, 10 minutes because I think at 15 minutes, I couldn't uh, transfer the information because then the file is too large. Okay, so the mindset is important. I will uh, try to do this in the uh, video form so that you can see the actual illustration in a diagram. Okay, I'll see you in the next recording. Thanks.